listen to me, Nigi. You're always welcome to join me in expanding your knowledge base. Comments are always welcome, man. Please subscribe. What we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and get our plug-in added. So, let's get out of there. Now, in order to do that, we want to click on Help. Install new software. Search Arduino Eclipse plugin. And the file that you're looking for is this Arduino Eclipse plugin. Welcome. Click on that. Then once you get to this page, you're going to click on this little line, line, line thing. How to. Okay, it's going to bring you to that window. Okay, what we want to choose is install V1 plugin. Now, of course, you see the V2 plugin, but like I said, this is the simplest way to get up and get up fast instead of spending all the time that I spent trying to get it to work with the newer versions and not coming up with that much support on the documentation once you click on install v1 plugin it's going to bring up the instructions for v1 plugin let's see this is saying this page contains detailed instructions on how to install the arduino eclipse plugin version one and that's what we want so we're going to stroll down to seven it says as site enter we're going to select and copy this link in seven okay now once we have that we're going to go back to eclipse we're going to paste that and work with Ew, that was not the right thing to do we're going to paste it and work with that's what we're going to do. Okay, now once we paste and work with, we're going to go add. And we're going to do our Arduino plug. And that's just what I normally put there. And let's go OK. As you can see, we have some results. Now we're going to click on group items by category to uncheck that. And we're going to check this one. You should not you should only have this one, but if you have more which you shouldn't have, go ahead and click and click select all. Okay, so once we got that done, we want to click on next. And it's going to load and then we want to select it on the next screen then we're going to click next again then we want to accept the terms of the license agreement so take that i accept the terms of the license agreement and finish okay we have a security warning that's fine it's saying that when you are installing software that contains unsigned content blah 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 that's okay it's gonna keep going okay now it's telling you you will need to restart eclipse let's go yes wait for it to come back up okay now we want to go back into our workspace so that's fine right there we're gonna click okay and it's loading again okay now we gotta do a bit more configuration okay so we will go to windows again and then preference now you see we have arduino which was not there before so that's thanks to our plugin so we want to click on the arrow Okay, you see we have Arduino, AVR Dude, and Pax. So if you only have Arduino, then that means you did the version 2. 
that's not particularly the one that I want. But if you want to go that route, more power to you. So, but we're going to go this route. So, we're going to click on Arduino. Now, here it's just telling us that we don't have our paths for this. Um, so, what we want to do is we want to go to where we have our Arduino, where we down where we actually extracted an entire eclipse file so let's go browse we're gonna go remember we have it in our desktop and then we have it in our do test okay so we have it in our do test and in our eclipse folder our eclipse arduino then into our eclipse folder and there we see our arduino 1.05 r2 now, all we're going to do is click on that. Okay, we want to select that. So, it should be that little blue highlight right there. Then we want to click OK, because that's the path to it. Private library folder is not correct. Arduino is not showing that error anymore. So, let's go ahead. Now, your private library path is where you will put your private library. I haven't gotten into making any private libraries yet, so, but I'm sure that I will. So what I would do is add one. Okay, so we're going to go back into our do test. We're going to go to Eclipse Arduino into Eclipse. And that's where I'm putting all my files so they're easy to find. So creating a new file in Eclipse, I'm just going to put my private library. Okay, and then oh, we're going to go ahead and choose that, and then OK. And now we have no errors there. So we're going to go use Arduino IDE tools in Eclipse. We're going to take that. We're going to leave the other one the way it is, untick. Now, go ahead and click test serial.dll, and as you can see, it's saying successfully loaded RXTXDLL because plugin deliver RSTSDL, blah, blah blah blah. Okay, so it did it right. Go ahead and click apply, and then okay. So, just double checking to make sure it's stuck. Okay, so we have everything in there that's configured fine. For our paths, that actually looks okay. AVRGCC should end with hardware tools, AVR bin, so that's correct. GM you make. And that should end with hardware tools AVR utils being so that's right the next one would be hardware tools AVR include hardware tools AVR AVR so you should have two AVR and so that's right it seems like the paths is okay I actually don't think that you need this here, but that might be okay. So let's see. We'll test it. If 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 there's a problem, we'll come back and we'll just restore defaults and re-add them in. Because that was one of the problems that I did have. So the paths look fine as they are. So if your paths look something like this, then you should be okay. I believe we're good all the way in here. You would think that everything is good, but it may not be. Okay, so if you're in Windows 8, you have to do a little bit more. And that's what I have here, so that's what I can show. I'm pretty sure that you could probably figure out how to get to where I'm going just by seeing what we're going to do here. If you're on Windows 8, you should have search to your immediate right. 
if you hover over it's going to say search type in device manager in that search box and i'm sorry you can't see it but unfortunately i got a fixed screen but it's that little search icon to the right so what we did was we searched for device manager that's what we're looking for is the device manager you're gonna come to this screen go ahead and plug your arduino in and i'm i got an arduino uno board and once it's plugged in you should get ports com and lpt and when you click on the arrow it's gonna say arduino uno and right now i'm on com 10. that was the port that i was on before i started this install so it's hooked into a different arduino install so what we need to do is update it so it's correct we will go ahead and click on arduino uno because as it is now the drivers will not be correct because of the simple fact that it's for a different install let's go ahead and right click on that and we're going to click on update driver software from there when we get this screen we want to click on browse my computer for driver software you want to go down to let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer you want to click have disk here you want to browse we're browsing to where i install you so we're going to desktop we're going to scroll to our do test we're going to click on eclipse arduino eclipse we're going to click on arduino 1.05 r2 we're going to click on drivers we're going to click on arduino inf because that's what we're looking for we want to make sure it's here in file name and we want to click on open. So now that we have our location of our driver in there, we want to click OK. And it should be fine. Now we want to click next. Installing driver software, Arduino Uno. And so now we should have our correct COM or port for our Arduino okay so let's see we should have everything set but believe it or not there's going to be more problems to come so let's go ahead and create our file so what we want to do right now is we want to go to file you want to go to new over down to other and we want to click on arduino new arduino sketch and next we want to name our project i'm going to name it blinky for now this is where we begin to see if we did some stuff right you want to click on your board and of course like i said i have a uno so i'm going down to arduino uno you want to click on port and that's how we know that our driver is correct because it came up with com10 if it come up empty you have to go back and do that particular thing that we just did where we went into device manager and into the port and install the driver for this particular install you got to make sure that it's the install that you're doing so if you need to rewind it to make sure that you have this here go ahead and do that at this point what we could do is click finish i am ebony geek and i hope that the information provided has been helpful to you please remember to subscribe happy building and happy coding